I'm gonna stay in the morning Drink my coffee in the afternoon Paint my nose and go out too With all my lady Eight hours Crazy I'm gonna ride through the forest Look up to the ocean sky Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, if you're new here, my name is Natalie and you should totally subscribe to join the Chant Fam. So, for today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, it's not a prank, it's actually happening. I am waiting for the government to send a driver over here to send me to the hospital to get tested for coronavirus or what we call COVID-19. Yeah, so basically I'm gonna get the swab test and I am going to try to film it, but if I can't then, we all know why. Obviously, it's not fun. And this is just to document everything. Also, I'm not going to be going into depth of how I need it to get tested because I think it's only right to keep people's privacy where it should be. And yeah, you guys probably know the swab test is like quite painful for a lot of people. So in my mind, I'm just like, yeah. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I just came home and the swap test wasn't as bad as I thought, not gonna lie. It wasn't painful like everyone made it seem. It's more of like a stinging thing that's going up your nose. Sounds really scary and I was honestly really, really terrified. So one difference I would like to stress is that it's not painful, it's stinging. So that's the difference. Obviously, if you guys are doing it, I would suggest to not panic as much because I was really terrified. I was calling my friends, I was like, oh my God, like, mm -mm. but stay calm, stay as calm as you could, even though I know it seems terrifying. But yeah, now I'm waiting for my positive or negative results. If it's positive, I actually have to be isolated into either a hotel or whatever room they have for people that has COVID-19 or coronavirus. Yeah, so now I'm just waiting for the call. I'll update you guys. Since 1995 Growing up same street You, me, my ride or die All the years it would grow us apart Yeah, moved away Okay, hey guys, so uh, first off I want to say that this is filmed on my phone So it's not going to be the best quality And I'm going to look ugly as fuck <laughs> That's fine. Also not sure if you guys can hear me, but hopefully you guys could. I've been in the hospital for eight hours now. Not fun. I did my second swap today. My first swap, the one that you guys saw yesterday, it came out negative. That's good news, but um, because Singapore's Ministry of Health wanted to fuck up. So now I have to do it second time. And I just did it like four hours ago. And and now I'm just waiting for my transport to go home so that someone can inspect my house to see whether I need to move into a hotel for isolation. I'm just waiting. It's such a waiting game. I'm just waiting. Life is fun. I have a hoodie on. They gave me like a towel blanket. Yeah. Everyone's really working really hard though. So I'm gonna update you guys again, but um, today's swab, they did my throat swab and my nose swab and I was just like, <sighs> Well, at least I get to live down my life and get to say that I got COVID-19 swab. <laughs> okay, I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Okay, so I'm back home and what you guys saw just now was the second one messed up the records of my swab test, so I had to do it a second time. And 
obviously what you guys saw just now was when i was in the hospital so yeah that was shit like i had to be there for like eight hours crazy so that swab test was expected very uncomfortable but yeah i'm given obviously a quarantine order for until the 24th so yeah that's great uh so basically they gave me like this order form which i'm obviously not going to show because it has my details on it but obviously i'm not allowed to leave my room i have to use the when i use the bathroom i have to get it sanitized every time i finish using it and then go back to my room and immediately i'm supposed to eat in my room and yeah basically do everything in my room and toilet that's all i can go yeah me and the people that are involved has to stay at home until the 24th so my exit swab will be coming soon it is probably on the 20th or 21st or 22nd around there so yeah i'll see you guys when that happens because yeah life So today's the 21st of June and I finished my last swab test. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ. Obviously, I feel like when you're watching this, you might think, oh my God, Natalie, like, are you okay and everything? Honestly, I am perfectly fine. And thank God everyone involved in this particular situation is okay and tested negative for their first swabs and obviously I got my second swab so I tested negative too and like I said um, in the first part of this video I won't go into depth of how this even happened in the first place because I feel like everyone involved deserves their privacy and uh, and obviously for myself when this virus started I literally was like yeah I'm never gonna take the test ever I'm not even gonna attempt to get COVID-19 but my worst nightmare is over I did the test three times so yeah i'd say i'm a swab expert obviously this particular video is mainly for those who want to know what the experience is like or is getting the swab test soon obviously i still have three to four days of quarantine and then on the 25th we go back to school so yeah i did many really fun things i guess like calling someone for 24 hours yeah that was fun um getting food brought to you was fun <laughs> staying in bed all the time was fun and obviously if you watched the last video you would know that that completely got me really unmotivated but then today when i went out i was like confident on point and i was like can't wait so all you friends out there we're hanging out soon <laughs> yeah so let's leave on a high note if you're going to get the test don't worry too much about it seriously it's three to six seconds of your life that's it so yeah obviously it'll be uncomfortable but after it's done it literally feels like nothing and you just go get to go back home and for some of my friends they got to live in the hotel which was what i wish but that's fine it's fine i still love my bed so yeah Also, I really want to insert this in really quickly. About like a few days ago on a Tuesday, one of my childhood best friends, Gwen, she actually baked me cookies and I have one left because that's how good it is. It is mint chocolate chip cookies. If you know me, my favorite thing, like ice cream, even cookies now, mint chocolate chip all the way. Disagree with me, but like, that's just me. So she literally baked me mint chocolate chip cookies and I've never ever had anyone do that. Like literally, no one has made me personalized favorite 
flavored cookie. A big thank you to her, like, yeah. She knows that I'm in quarantine. She purposely baked some goods and sent it to my house, like, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure to obviously give it a thumbs up and subscribe to join the Chan fam. Why do I feel like I already forgot my freaking outro? Like, okay. So, bye. I'm gonna stay in the morning Drink my coffee in the afternoon Paint my nose and go out too With all my